Hey everybody, Sumi back with some Genshin Impact information for you guys. We're going to be looking at the freshly released housing system and how you can efficiently progress as much as possible very early. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that the most efficient place to stop is going to be Trust Rank 4 and the elegant level of Adeptal Energy. And let's go ahead and talk about why. So with the Adeptal Energy here, you can see that for every rank up, you're getting an additional 4 per hour up to elegant. Once you hit elegant, it's going to go from requiring 1,500 to 2,000 Adeptal Energy for each rank up for a while. And you'll go from getting 4 Realm Currency per hour to only 2. So not only is it very difficult to hit Exquisite right off the bat, it's also just really not worth it to push that hard. The game kind of pushes you to stop at Elegant and Trust Rank 4, and I'll talk about why in a second. So getting into that, whenever you first come in here, you're going to be Trust Rank 1. It's going to give you 10 of these speed ups and all this other good stuff. You're going to use 5 of those speed ups to get to rank 2. It takes roughly 300 trust rank EXP to get from rank 1 to rank 2, which is approximately 5 blue furniture crafts. So go ahead and use half of your initial adeptal speed ups here to get to rank 2. It's going to give you 10 more. Now getting from rank 2 to 3 takes 600 trust rank EXP, which is approximately 10 blue furniture crafts. So you're going to use all of the rewards from 2 to jump to 3. And then 3 is going to give you 10 more. Now, once you get to 3, 3 to 4 takes 1,000 EXP, which is approximately 16 and a half, 17 blue furniture crafts, something like that. But you're going to have a few purple craft BPs, which are 50% more efficient than the blues. So you should be able to get from 3 to 4 just using the speed ups that the game gives you from the trust rank ups. And then you'll have 10 additional. Now, beyond that, with those 10 additional, if we go into the Realm Depot here, I'll show you really quickly. Under this Furnishings tab, every day you can buy 5 of these speed ups for only 10 Realm Currency each. Once you hit Elegant, that's 2 per hour, so you can get all of these in just 2.5 hours passively while you're playing the game. It's very nice, I recommend buying these as much as you can. And when you come in here, I think it gives you 300 of the uh, Realm Currency. I don't remember correctly, but I think that I had just 300 for no reason. If not, you might have to wait a little bit to do this part, but as soon as you can afford to get those 5 and then have 240 additional, what I recommend doing is coming down here and figuring out what piece of purple furniture here you're going to be using the most, and then crafting a bunch of it. Like for this one, you're going to need more than just one of these walls, even though you only get the trust rank up for the first craft. It's still good for Adeptal Energy, because they're going to give you 90 a piece. So if you know you're going to be using a bunch of these walls, or you know you're going to be using a bunch of corner pieces or corridors, buy the blueprint, craft a bunch of them, speed them up, and then place them down. You want to place everything you craft or everything you're given down to get that Adeptal Energy level up. So if we come out here to where I'm at, you'll see that my, my compound looks like a total mess. I've put down everything they gave me. I've crafted one of everything. I've put a few sets down. And then these lions are what I chose to craft a bunch of because I figured I would line my walkway once I had it all gated in with the lions. So the lions here don't actually require you to pay anything, but they are four star. And the only thing that you use to craft these is like 12 of the silver ore and one speed up, which is basically nothing. So before you panic about wasting resources, the lions are basically free, since you get five of those things a day for free. And they each give 90, so having those 10 over there is giving me 900 adeptal energy. And the way you get those lions, I'll show you in a second, is right here. By placing three different furnishing sets, but let's jump back to that later. For now... These are very easy to get, so what I would recommend you do first and foremost is go ahead and chop down or just chop 33 trees because the round 2 here is going to require you to get 100 pieces of wood to be able to finish the round 2. But these here are going to be very easy. It's just very basic stuff. Learn the blueprints, construct, blah, 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 blah. And then once we get to round 2 is where things get a little interesting. You need to reach trust rank 3 if we just do what we talked about using all the blueprints from here and all the blueprints you get here trust rank 3 should be easy by now obtain 500 realm currency might take a minute but if you get that 300 like i was talking about i believe you do get that 300 for ranking up or something like that this shouldn't take you long on top of that down here you get 50 more just for reaching the humble abode rank but anyway we want to go ahead and craft all this stuff it says place 10 rock furnishings. You're going to have a hard time with this initially, but if you finish the place of furnishing set as well as the 20 blueprints, you'll have enough rocks to finish this off. So it shouldn't be any problem there. 
And I believe that's really it for this part here. You can see that you get some blueprints here, some blueprints here. This is going to be your bread and butter for initial blueprints. There's so many here. There's so many layouts here. You're going to want to go ahead and craft all of these. Go ahead and speed the vase up. This is the only green furniture piece that I've got. And it's the only one that I think you should speed up. And here's the reason why. So you saw that in this, in order to unlock those lions on the part three, you need to have three different furnish furnishing sets. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Three of these things crafted. I would recommend only going for the ones that require one of each furniture type. Like this one requires the vase and then these three things here. So that's an efficient set. This is also efficient. You get most of this stuff just from doing your your book there and then you craft the well. You get the well from the book as well or the Adventure Rank book-esque teapot screen that we were just looking at. This one's good too. This one's not. I went ahead and crafted this just to do some testing on it, but this one actually kind of sucks because it requires three of this blue furniture and two of this blue housing. So there's really, it's not as efficient to craft these over and over again, but if you just kind of like the look, look of the layout or the set, that's fine. Inside, we've got a few more that I'll go ahead and show you guys that are more efficient than that one back there, just so you can get your three out of the way. But very quickly, let me pop back into that screen before we go inside. You can see that these outdoor sets, like most of them are just generic junk. You don't get that pole yet so don't do that one but like this one you should probably be able to do i think i think i've already got all this stuff out here all these tree looking ones should be pretty easy to do just place three of these down doesn't matter which one there are a few inside and that'll be enough for you to get through your book there so let me go ahead inside and show you show you guys the two sets that i'm talking about that you can do in here pardon the mess inside same kind of Mindset is outside. I just kind of threw everything down so we could get our energy up and get that passive income flowing. This one's a good one. You get this stove, I believe, at trust rank. Th no, it's at the, the book rank three or whatever. But yeah, it's these three different pieces. They're all different. And then the last one that I've got that's different is this layout here. This one's kind of expensive, but I mean, you're going to be crafting one of each of these anyway. If you're following what I was saying, go ahead and burn all those speed ups. So you should be able to get your three furniture sets placed very easily. Don't be intimidated by the idea of the sets or whatever. You just go out and pick this stuff back up and make the set out of it. You don't get any real bonuses out of it. It's just to look cool. Now, there's one more thing that I wanted to show you guys, and it's actually in Chingsa Village. We teleport all the way down here, if it'll let me do it. There we go. There's actually a blueprint and a couple more furniture sets that you can get here. And these are the only ones that I've discovered in the overworld. I believe the patch notes and the special program did hint that there would be different ways to get these out in the overworld. But this is the only place that I've found that actually has them. And the only reason I even knew to look here was just because of that Ganyu quest from a while back where I talked about the furniture guy here so he's actually going to be down this way i don't know if he'll be standing out in the rain we might actually have to slow down time let's see nope there he is so he's got that furniture looking icon above his head now he's not selling too much but he is selling a blueprint which you're going to want so he sells the traveler's bundle blueprint and then he sells two different sets now the sets aren't all that necessary because they cost 50,000 more a piece, but I went ahead and bought them out just so I could have everything that I can get. But yeah, beyond that, that really is everything I've got for you guys. Hopefully I'm not leaving too much out. So once again, just to reiterate, use all of the speed ups that you've got to craft every furniture blueprint once. And then beyond that, just craft one of a four star blueprint that you know you're going to use over and over again. Speed it up as much as you can until you run out of speed ups. Go ahead and burn through that book that's similar or the teapot that's similar to this book here and you should be able to hit 6,000 in your first sitting assuming you get that initial realm currency if not you might have to wait for the realm currency to catch up to the book but yeah more or less you should be able to blitz up to elegant very quickly blitz up to trust rank 4 very quickly and start getting that passive income that'll help you unlock all the furniture hopefully inside of a couple of weeks really but yeah that's all i really got for you guys hopefully it helps thanks so much for your time if you've got any questions let me know down below subscribe for more of this stuff in the future like if it helped you and i'll see you guys in the next video